Merrick Moore friends. It's good to see you here again on Chalk It Out Tuesday. We're continuing our work with cause and effect this week. We're going to specifically take a look at reading closely um, for word meaning. Um, writers often tuck the meaning of words in between commas and they'll give you a technical word or a content word and then they're going to explain what that means. So we're going to practice slowing our thinking down and paying attention to that. And then we're also going to continue our work with cause and effect beyond the sentence level and into paragraphs. Um, but starting out today, we're going to take a look at the deets on our peeps, um, our student work celebration. You guys did great using those um, signal words to write your own cause and effect sentences. Then we'll get into our close reading for meaning and mean ideas and then do our assignment. So celebrating our friends. Amy and Ramey, again, you are rocking it out in Google Classroom. Anthony, Cornelius, Anaya, Trinity, Daniel, and Amaya. And I'm celebrating you guys, not just for your work in, um, in my class assignments, but for math and for creative writing, um, in our Google Classroom meetups. It's just fantastic to see all of you and to see your participation. Today we're gonna to continue talking about cause and effect. What's important for us to know right now that we've had a little bit of practice just at the sentence level with cause and effect is that sometimes writers tell you the effect of a situation before they tell you what the causes were. And that's what we're gonna take a look at today. And that's why we have to learn how to slow our thinking down and read closely and carefully. So here's some of the work from our friends last week. I asked you to use the signal words to write your own cause and effect sentences. We have to stay at home because of COVID. So the effect is us staying at home. The cause of that, COVID. Since there is no school, I do work at home. Here is the um, cause and here's the effect. We have to social distance. Therefore, we have to stay like six feet apart. The cause is we have to social distance. The effect, we have to stay six feet apart from each other. We don't have much toilet paper in stores because of coronavirus. Noah, good job, you're right. I've seen it's coming back though. What causes good relationships is love and care. As a result, you have good relationships with your family. Trinity, excellent work. I know your family would be so happy to see that you appreciate this time with them. So now, we're gonna get into thinking about how um, this is not as simple as the last assignment. It's not, here's the cause, here's the effect. Sometimes writers are gonna give you the effect of a situation. And then they're gonna talk about the causes of that big effect. So, Javante was late for school today because he forgot to set his alarm, then he was rushing out the door, he dropped his backpack and fell down the stairs, his mom tried a shortcut but in, got stuck in traffic. So our job as readers is to put these ideas together but be reading closely to what these sentences are saying and what the really, writer's really trying to communicate to us. So you're going to see an article in Google Classroom and I want you to remember what I taught you last week about adjusting the difficulty level because this is an article that's related to science and the digestive system that you're learning about. And um, it's actually at the highest level of difficulty. So remember to go up into the upper right corner, click that button and bring your number down. So I'm gonna model for you how I think through this. And you're going to do the same thing on your own during your assignments. But our goal right now is for you to see how a reader really thinks through these tricky words and ideas. What's up with bacteria in your gut? Our guts or intestines are home to large collections of bacteria. These bacteria play an important role in digesting the food we eat. The bacteria are part of the gut microbiome. Here, the writer gave us a really big word, and it's not probably familiar to you, but then watch what happens in the next sentence. A microbiome is the collection of microbes, like bacteria in a particular place. So the writer gave us the word, and then the writer defined it for us. Here, in this first paragraph, the writer told us what big idea they wanted to teach us about in the rest of the article. Your gut's microbiome is home to hundreds of species of bacteria. The gut microbiome plays a role in nutrition. It also affects our health in other ways. 
It might be the reason we are cheerful or depressed or healthy or sick. So here the writer came out and told you, here's an effect. And then they told you what the effects might be. Now we're gonna go into the second paragraph. So we're using words and phrases as clues. In countries like the United States, lifestyle choices have killed off some of our gut microbes. Right there, the author is telling us what the effect is. Let's find out what the causes are. These lifestyle choices include eating too much processed foods or foods treated with chemicals. People have overused antibiotics or medicines that fight against bacterial infections. These choices have resulted in a microbiome that does not have many helpful types of bacteria. Many modern diseases can be occurring because our microbiomes aren't what they used to be. So when we take a look at the article all together, I'm gonna to go back here a minute. The writer started out with the main idea up here. These bacteria play an important role in di digesting the food we eat. And then explain the bacteria are part of the gut microbiome. So we know the bacteria is important. What's the problem happening with us? Our guts aren't healthy. Why aren't our guts healthy with the micro in the, our microbiome? Because of the lifestyle choices that have killed off, the chemicals that we're using, antibiotics, and what have these choices resulted in? A microbiome that doesn't have many helpful types of bacteria. And we thought bacteria was a bad thing. So here's what it looks like if I were to write this out. The effects came first. Our lifestyle choices can kill off our gut microbes. What are the causes of that? Eating too much processed food or food with chemicals. People overusing antibiotics or medicine that fight bacterial infections. So for your assignment this week, friends, you're going to choose one of the articles that I have posted in Google Classroom, and you're going to write about the main idea and how the writer used cause and effect to support it. Okay, you have your assignment. As always, if you need help, you just reach out to one of your teachers and we will absolutely help you through it. Until next week, friends, this has been Talk It Out Tuesday.